Hey Zage here, today we're taking a look at technical analysis for a few commodities and see what has happened in the previous week and see what our expectations are for the next week ahead. I'll cover wave analysis with Elliott Wave Theory and provide multiple scenarios that price may take and explain why I prefer one counter over another. Let's take a look at the different possibilities. Starting here on US oil or the crude oil index or the WA crude oil CFD. Um, Overall, what we were looking at was a WXY, looking for this higher time frame wave four. Now, the overall idea we had before was that we had a possible A wave here, B and then C. The reason why I was wanting this count to be happening was the fact that we had a low RSI here. However, we had taken out the, that out already here on price, creating bullish divergences here happening for this possible ABC. Now this is still in play and it still can be happening as we could have this as a one, two, one, two, or even just a one, two, three, four, and five, um, but we'll see how it turns out. Let's take a look at the minimum targets we would have here. We actually did hit that already and we could be having that as they indeed a one, two, one, two, or that one, two, three, four, and looking for that, <clears throat> some kind of diagonal here. Uh, to happen for that C wave. Now, generally we would definitely would want us to get back to the 382 retracement here, which would be the wave B end. And at that point, uh, I don't think we can have it uh, without the 1212 setup. So this is definitely an interesting area to take for, or look for longs um, and targeting the $103 area. There is still going to be a lot of, uh, like 11%, that is massive gains to be made before looking for that C wave. The only reason that I'm still expecting this C wave here is the fact that we did take out again, we had the RSI here at the very lowest. In any three way structure, uh, we generally want to see a lowest RSI reading at the very end. And this is currently the end here, but we have that divergence happening. So we would have to get into this very, um, very high time frame structures and at that point we don't even see this uh, this structure anymore so to me it is way better to have this as an abc the other option was that we would have it ending here at the wave c and instead we would have this as an abc having some kind of uh, contracting diagonal here uh, we did have this one week going through it that's why i didn't really prefer this diagonal but it is possible at the same structure we would have this as one two one two that the exact same that we would expect with this abc structure so that's why we should be looking for long setups here at least in my opinion um, also the bonus fact in here this would be saying that okay wave c would be already in and this would be the start of that fifth wave of this primary structure and that would be massive massive now that is the expectation here on US oil. Um, let's see, when did we have it? Wait, I think, yeah, somewhere around here. This is definitely looking for long setups for me at the moment uh, for US oil. Natural gas. Now this has been faking me out so bad in the past that I'm now taking a big break here on natural gas. It is not um, getting into the my minimum target areas at all even though the count is looking pretty okay at some points. For this one, I've generally had this as wave one of cycle of wave five of primary, then looking for some kind of three when we're back here into the wave two. Then again, five ways into one, two, three, four, and five into one of primary. Then after that point, again, we see on RSI, we have this as a three way move, pull back third wave of this structure, taking out the previous lows here, um, and also taking out the lows here out on price which would again uh, ge uh, generally say that okay we have something ending here however uh, we don't have the 618 hit here um, is it possible that let's see how did i have this yeah that's right uh how did it, that we have uh have it ending here I mean, at, even at these points, even these points, we don't see that this extension target of 0.618 hits. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be labeling this as it is not fitting into the um, measurement targets that I have here overall. But again, those are from crypto overall. So that's why probably none of these are going to be fitting. 
So on commodities, I, I'm starting to learn that, okay, my targets, unfortunately, don't seem to be hitting all the time. So I might need to be fixing those um, and modifying them to um, fit into these commodity markets more. Now, the other scenario here is that, okay, even if we can fit a ABC here into wave two, the next issue comes <laughs> right into next wave. Um, I definitely see this as a five-way move, one, two, three, four, five, three way pullback, another one, two, three, four, five in the third, another pullback, one, two, three, four, five. So that definitely has five waves, one, two, three, four, five. However, this wave four here is larger than wave two. Wave three is smaller than wave one. So the expectation here would be a contracting diagonal. However, wave four is again larger than wave two, which would mean expanding diagonal. However, that wave three is again smaller than wave one, it would just invalidate that idea completely. We can't have those two conditions um, on the same time. So again, something that I can't just bring over from crypto. We can't have a good looking diagonal here on natural gas, unfortunately. So either this is something else uh, or I have to throw out those measurements um, and just be looking at basically RSI giving us, okay, wave one, high, our largest wave structure has the highest RSI, makes sense. And then we would be just looking for divergence to happen uh, between at least, the, at least with the end of the wave structure here, third and fifth, third and fifth. Okay, that would make sense. Um, and then this would be the end of the wave structure. And, and it was. And then we would be looking for a three-year pullback, taking out these previous lows on RSI uh, in price and in in um, and in the RSI to create that uh, three-way look here um, for that another possible wave two here. Where would I be looking at this? Is again <laughs> at least taking out the A wave slows. That would be something that I would be looking at. However, more confluence comes in at the point five. A retracement of this move here at around eight dollars and 70 75 cents around there we have this four hour order block here as well giving us some nice support going downwards one-to-one -one extension of this abc would be right here as well of course again the 0.618 um, <clears throat> would be the minimum that i'm generally looking for again does not fit here as we just saw here on the previous move um, but yeah I'm still looking for this at least. Again, taking out the wave A lows would be right around that 0.618. But anywhere here, I would be looking for long possibility setups, or at least looking for the setup where we have went down and then looking for a bounce and then retracement, getting on there, stop loss below, and then looking for that higher price. Again, we have to remind ourselves that this count that I have here is probably the most bullish I can make of it. Um, so is it possible that we have this as a uh, one, two, three, four, and five? For sure, that is completely possible. And at that case, we would be looking for way larger retracement. We have to remind ourselves of that. If we are going to be taking out these lows, uh, we have the golden pocket right here, right here around $4, oh, sorry, $8.47. Um, at that point, I would be expecting that, okay, this is most likely not a wave one anymore, but again, solid or the final invalidation level is at the, the start of this wave structure here. So yeah, that is the ideas that I have here for natural gas. Let's go over silver. Silver has been very bullish here um, on higher time frame. Look at this as five ways into wave one, and then looking for some kind of wave to pull back here. The wave to pull back here is very small in time, unfortunately. Uh, if we are measuring that out in here, we can see that uh, we have not even hit the 38.2 here for the way two. That's the only concern I have here, that um, indeed we could be having this, even doing something like this, and getting closer and closer to the one-to-one -one extension. Again, 38.2 is the uh, smallest that I want to see, and this has not hit it. So that's why I'm a bit I'm still bullish on this, but uh, this definitely felt like it was coming down really fast. 
I've labeled, however, this as a possibility of wave two, and then we could still have this as a one, two. Very nice uh, risk to reward ratio here. Um, we definitely can be looking at if this is indeed a one, two, one, two setup, then this would be going off to the moons and this risk here that you're putting in is very small in comparison. But yeah, this is the main, main count that I have here for silver at this very moment. Not too much else about it. Now, gold, um, we still have the possibility of having this as a one, two, three, four, five into one, then this would be three way pull back into wave two. And either this is again, the same as uh, silver a one, two, and then looking for higher prices. Or if we are taking out this low, then this can morph into a one, two, three, four, and five, uh, like I've, I have it here. And then this would mean that, okay, this would be just a wave A of something. Um, then we would be looking for wave B and then wave C. Um, at that point, again, we would be most likely risking either the lows of here or at least the lows we have here for this previous Y2. Again, invalidation for this whole impulse wave structure would be at these lows around $1,681. Um, but yeah, those are the two options that I'm currently looking at. Uh, am I going to be longing this? I'm already long here uh, on gold. Um, probably going to be stop loss here. Uh, even though if we could be getting this small bounce up here, I'm not going to be looking for that uh, too much. I definitely want to be seeing this as a fireway structure here. Um, and that is definitely a possibility for me, uh, looking for that more long setups. I'll just set a couple of alarms here. Um, but yeah, those are the things that I'm looking on gold as well. Silver and gold way more easy looking rather than the oil and natural gas. Those are a bit wonky at the moment for me still, unfortunately, but sometimes they just are and don't seem to be fitting the ideology I have here either or the measurement targets. Uh, so it is making them a bit more difficult to count. But I feel like that is pretty much everything I wanted to cover on the commodities side this week. If you made it this far in the video, video I would appreciate the likes and Link to my free Discord server in the description below. And for now, I thank you for watching and hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.